if you compare where we are today with $70 billion worth of debt to where we, and, and the highest per capita deficits in Canada, and a heritage fund that's worth one third of what it used to be, if we had had these constitutional rules in place back in 2005, we wouldn't be in the train wreck we're in today. Back in the day, Alberta was known for running balanced budgets under Ralph Klein. It was the law. But when oil prices dropped in 2009, that law was amended. Now the oil and gas industry is failing to keep the budget afloat, and former cabinet minister Ted Morton is wanting to bring back the law against running deficits. A balanced budget law would, one, prevent that. It would mean each generation has to pay their own way. You can't spend now and leave debt for you and your generation. And the Heritage Fund, if it builds up like the Alaska Fund did, like the Norway Fund does, it creates a new revenue stream because the earnings from that fund then go back into the government revenue. So it, it is a solution to the yo-yo uh, effect of, of oil and gas economies. Alberta was debt free just 13 years ago during a time when Ralph Klein was premier. Klein not only eliminated the deficit, he made it illegal for a government to have a deficit. Morton says it's time for the Alberta government to start putting the public interest of the province before their own party's goal. That means not spending just to gain votes. Politicians will always take the short-term self-interest over the long-term public interest. Right. Uh, spend more now. Spend, 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 vote, 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 win the election, worry about balanced budgets later. Fiscal policy is expected to be an election issue in the upcoming provincial race next year. In Calgary, Kristen Fong, City News.